In the summer of 2012, I took my custom camper van, my Basset Hound, and my wife, Jill, who joined us later, on a 10,000 mile road trip across America to promote my book from Animal House to Our House. Cleo helped at every stop and she kept me emotionally centered. We headed west through the heartland in my do-it-yourself camper van with solar panels on the roof and a retro interior. It is the little diesel that could. We headed out to see 60 cities from small town America to inner city America. And along the way, we got great road food everywhere we could, in the streets, from the cafes, from the markets, and of course, every stop I could, pizza. I love pizza. Cleo fooled around a lot, and she found plenty of things she liked very much. I told my story on TV shows and met interesting people we headed south through the farmland. A highlight was Charleston, where we had some good friends see my performance, and then down to Savannah, where we read at the Book Ladies Bookstore, then over to Macon to meet some dear friends and had a great event, then down to Atlanta, more friends there, and lots of stuff to see. Birmingham, Alabama, great barbecue, then stopped in New Orleans. Rich and Cassandra showed me their cool old house. Cleo and I loved the Big Easy, had a grand time there, and then headed west again. And in Arkansas, we found an abandoned theme park, which was kind of weird and creepy, but Cleo typically was a goof-off. In Eureka Springs, Elise showed us her historic hotel. Most places, we had great turnouts, great response. In Memphis, of course, I had to get some ribs. In St. Louis, met some great preservationists and saw the historic spaceship gas station. As we got into Texas, we saw some strange stuff, like Cadillac Ranch. The road seemed wide open and full of possibilities, despite some setbacks, like a broken door lock, a ruptured water tank, and over 60 mosquito bites. We camped at some cool places like historic mansions and exotic out-of-the-way locations. And here are my feet. Sometimes we had to camp illegally. Here we are in the back hills of California. And there we are in the Wild West. Butte country and also kind of scary country. But Cleo was up for it all. I spent a lot of time at nights preparing PR and logistics. I loved looking at old motels along the old highways and funky old buildings. In the southwest, we found the America's oldest church, which Jake told us all about. And here's the Azatlan in Santa Fe, and here's the haunted adobe in Tempe, Arizona. I did lots of home cooking in my van to save money, and in Phoenix, I performed for my mother's retirement community. They were an excellent audience. And my mom loves Cleo. We headed for California. First stop, Los Angeles. An exciting town. And at the L.A. City Hall, newly restored in recent years, Kevin Jew gave me a private tour. Fascinating building. The whole thing sits on giant shock absorbers because of earthquakes. Cleo and I drove up the coastal highway and stopped to see Ken and Sally in their historic farmhouse in Half Moon Bay and then it was San Francisco and Cleo loved it, saw lots of cool stuff, met new friends like Jim and Gail in their cool old house and here's Cleo in a famous park and then Jill joined us for our trip up north, and we drove across the foggy Golden Gate and went up the coast, camped at the beach. One of our fellow campers showed us her tattoo guns. We met Eric at the Blue Ox wood shop in Eureka, then up to the Oregon coast. Greg showed us his cool house, which used to be a drug den. Then to Portland, lots of cool things, good friends there. I had more TV shows and we had terrific food. I have gained 10 pounds on this trip. Then gorgeous Seattle where we met more friends and we saw the oldest houseboats in America and our new friends Jan and John gave us a waterfront tour. 
then up to Spokane for another event where we saw the coolest parking deck in America. We went camping, had to have special equipment for that, and then we went over to Montana, which is mind-blowingly beautiful. And Jill insisted on driving to a ghost town in the mountains. It was quite a trip, very exciting. Jill also kept me civilized, but she had to leave before we got to Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. Cleo loved the Grand Tetons. We went down into Utah where my cell phone said, no service. Ogden, we met new friends, had a great time. Then headed east into the High Plains, had a fabulous event at the Kansas City Library with historic Kansas City. Stopped in Quincy, Illinois on the Mississippi and visited our good friends Rick and Charles in their gorgeous house. Met some interesting preservationists in Chicago and Milwaukee, did more TV shows, saw my dear friend Mauricio. Then east through the heartland where I saw some cool old houses and stopped in Indianapolis for the state fair. Through small town America, camping at Walmart, not every neighbor was friendly. And Cleveland, Pittsburgh, terrific event there. Up to New England, visit my friends Bill and Leslie in Connecticut, then Worcester, then Marblehead, saw Julia, my good friend, and also dear friend Timmy in New Hampshire in Maine, and then Jill joined us again in New Jersey, and we saw the Stickley Mansion and Edison's Lab. Then went on a pizza safari in New Jersey and met Al Santillo, famous pizza maker, dropped by Dell's Novelty, where I used to hang out as a kid and made it home finally in late August to be greeted warmly by our dear friends. Join me and Jill at houselove.org for more adventures.